Hi world, Danielle here, just another master's grad, still trying to find her place in the world. I defended and submit my thesis just a little over a month ago, and I thought I would make this video about uh, one issue in particular that grad students face that I don't think gets talked about often enough. And I thought now is the best time to do it because I'm done with school, but I haven't really complicated it, so I'm technically still a grad student, but with enough time to have gained some perspective after finishing. Uh, now, grad school is a great experience. I don't mean this video to sound like I'm complaining because I'm really not. I think that grad school was great and I don't regret going to grad school. I really enjoyed my time there and I think that it's been really helpful to me both to grow uh, in terms of my knowledge in the sciences as well as personal knowledge, like getting to know myself, getting to know a little bit about the world. So. Grad school is great. I definitely encourage everyone that wants to go to grad school to do so. But with like everything else, the good comes with bad. And grad school has some bad that is often talked about. Uh, being poor into your adult years, having very little of a social life while you're at it. All these things are pretty well known. There's one thing though that I think that uh, a lot of student, a lot of grad students struggle with and they struggle silently because no one really talks about it. And it's how unhappy we all really are. Because, yeah, uh, grad students, they kind of hate their life. Uh, not everyone, of course, you know, there are some people that manage to get by with everything going well, but I think for a large majority of us, we do reach a point, perhaps about after the first year or so, where the romanticized idea of what we thought grad school was, we realize that that's not true, and reality kicks in, and suddenly things aren't that great. And this is something that very rarely gets talked about. It's like academia's dirty little secret. So I decided no more. Before I lose my grad student status, I thought that I was gonna come on here and talk to you about it. After a lot of self-reflection, I realized that the reason why I was so unhappy and probably why other people in similar situation as me have been so unhappy is because of two main reasons. The first is one that you see in a lot of other jobs where you take the work home with you, which is a really that you have a really hard time managing your personal life and your work life. In the terms of grad school, your research project is like your academic baby. It is your brain baby. And it's really hard to not fall into the trap of working evenings, weekends, holidays, basically never taking a break. Even if you do take a break, your brain is still working behind the scenes, making you feel really guilty about taking time off. Like it's like a little voice that's like, oh, you should do this. Oh, you should do that. Oh, you should email this person. Oh, remember that blah, blah, blah. Oh, why are you not working? Why are you not working? Why are you not working? It's just a little voice in the back of your head that slowly digs at you in all like all throughout your free time making you feel guilty that you're not working it's basically just the douchebag just a douchebag that doesn't let you enjoy your free time all that on its own isn't the worst because at the end of the day we are a pretty workaholic society and there's a lot of other people with different professions apart from professional student that um do struggle with this so okay that's not so bad it is bad though when you read a, reach a motivational wall because every grad student faces this at some point or another and it's basically a situation where you know what you have to do you know how you have to do it you know it has to get done and you want to get it done like you have all the right thing like all the right steps that you need in order to get your work done and yet you can't find the motivation to do so you just you just can't and it leads to like really unhealthy behavior like for example sitting in front of your computer day after day 10 14 hours at the cusp of starting to work, but by the time night comes around and you go to sleep, probably like in the early hours of the morning, you have nothing to show for it. And if we were logical and um, took advantage of the fact that we have a flexible schedule, we would do something like realize that this is a time of low productivity instead of forcing ourselves to work and do stuff that we just simply can't because we're not feeling up to it, that we would just take some time off recharge, recuperate, and then come back after a few days feeling refreshed and ready to work. That would be the logical thing to do, especially if you have a flexible time schedule, right? Like, that's that makes sense. No, because you have douchebag brain, and douchebag brain is there in the back of your head telling you, you've already wasted three days not working. You can't waste even more time 
not working. You can't do that. That would be irresponsible. 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 So what do you do? You, you wake up the next day and you do it all over again. If you're lucky, when you reach your motivational wall, you kind of snap out of it after a few days. If you're not lucky, it could take weeks. I've known people that have been at it for months. And it's a really hard place to be in because you want to work, like you do. Like we're all really passionate about what we do, but you just can't bring yourself to do it. Reason number two why I think grad students are unhappy is because this is probably the first time that the majority of us are feeling what real failure is like. And I don't mean failure as in um, what you feel when you take a test and you don't do well and you're disappointed in yourself. I think that by the time you get to grad school, almost every single person has at least failed one test. That is not what I mean. I mean failing to keep the expectations that the system has for you and that you have of yourself. Now the system, and I mean academia at large, I don't mean some like weird big brother thing, but academia at large expects two things of their grad students. One, to keep the deadlines that they set with their supervisor and their committee. And two, to do very high quality work. The thing about this though, is that both of these expectations are actually competing goals. Because realistically speaking, the deadlines that you're given to do the quality of work that's expected of you can't be met. So you're either on track, but the quality of work that you're doing isn't as high as it should be, or you're doing good and like high quality work, but you're not on track. So already the system is setting you up to fail because one way or another, you're not going to be able to keep both of those expectations. And that's bad on its own because probably people that end up in grad school were one where people that growing up were considered the good students. And so this is probably the first time that they're kind of realizing that even when they're working at their best, it's still not good enough. So the, like, already that's a little bit difficult to deal with, but it gets a lot worse when you realize that most people, when they enter into grad school, they have at least one expectation of themselves. They probably have multiple, but there's at least one that we all probably share, which is a very human expectation, which is that we're going to continue to be the person we've always thought ourselves to be. When you reach your master's or your PhD or whatever, and you're like in your 20s or your 30s, you've spent a lot of time with the person that you are now. You've gotten to know your personality quite well. You know your strength, you know your flaws, you know who you are. And for the majority of us, the ones that were the good students that ended up in grad school, part of our self-identity is related to our being capable students. And if you've grown up and you've been an adult for however many years, knowing that this is how you are, your like number one expectation is probably that you're going to continue to be this way. And then you get to grad school and you're in a system that's setting you up to fail and you're dealing with failure for the first time. And suddenly you realize that a lot of those things that you thought you were don't hold up anymore because now school is no longer fun. Learning is no longer enjoyable. Things don't come easily to you anymore. You're not, you can't trust your capabilities as a student to do the quality of work that you expect for yourself in the time that you expect from yourself. Suddenly all those things that you use to self identify are being tested. And quite often you're failing when it comes to that. Like you are no longer the person you thought you were. That person that day after day spends 10 to 14 hours in front of their computer and by the end of the day have absolutely nothing to show for, that person is a stranger. Under those conditions, it's absolutely not surprising that grad students are so unhappy. I mean, wouldn't you? Like realistically speaking, if you suddenly no longer recognize yourself and you're failing and your whole life is out of balance because you never take time off, wouldn't you be at your wit's end? Like I think that that's fairly like normal response to this whole situation. What I don't think is normal is how little we talk about it. I think a lot of grad students are struggling with this and we struggle silently. Like, I don't know how many friends I've caught up with after not talking to them for a few months and they're in different universities than me doing completely different work than I am. And I'm like, hey, you know what? I've been feeling kind of unhappy. This has been going on, blah, blah, blah. And they look at me and they're like, oh, oh yeah, me too. Like, I didn't realize that other people felt that way. And that's the truth. We don't realize that other, peop other people feel the same way. Everyone is struggling. We just all have this facade of professionalism that keeps us from like reaching out. And that's really sad. It's really sad because grad school is such a great experience. It's so sad that it 
causes so much distress to the people going through it. Now, I'm not saying that the whole thing needs to change. I think that there's something really positive to be said about going through this whole system and learning to manage uh, competing priorities, learning a little bit more about yourself, facing um, failures and maturing through them. Like I, I think there's something really positive to be said about that experience. I just think that we don't really have the resources nor the understanding of what it feels like so that grad students feel a little bit more supportive while they're at it. So let's stop that. Let's like make a pact, you and me, human to human. If you're a grad student and you're feeling this way, reach out to someone. You can leave a comment on this video and I will definitely read it and respond back because I'm genuinely interested. If you know a grad student, you have a grad student in your life, then stop this video, pause it, I will wait. You get up from your chair and go hug them. Just go hug them right now. Trust me, they need that hug. They do. So, are you back? Did you go hug them? Good. And don't ever ask them when they're gonna finish. That is like the biggest no-no ever. They will finish when they finish. Having to answer, I don't know, is like the worst thing ever. So don't ask them. If you're thinking of going into grad school, either because you're in high school or in your undergrad, please, please, please don't let this be the thing that deters you away. Like I said, I think grad school is a great experience and I'm totally pro-education. So however many letters you want to add after your name, totally for it. I'm just saying that be realistic about what you expect. With that, I'm off. My rant is done. Uh, this has been the first video of what will become a video blog to uh, share with anyone that wants to listen and wants to watch my life post-grad school. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. I'm actually moving to South Korea at the end of February. So... Uh, I thought, why not let pe like friends and family and anyone else that wants to hear a little bit about my life, my experiences, random thoughts that pop into my head. So if you're a stranger, hi, welcome. If you're friends and family, I hope you liked it. If you have any comments or suggestions for me, leave them because I'm definitely paying attention and I want to make sure that these videos are good. Uh, and I'll see you next time.